love beautiful people. I have probably the biggest proclamation and prophetic service announcement to date. We got the Righteous Rebellion on. We, we got the, the Baby Blue of Truth, the double anointing, the Christ mantle, the Prophet's mantle. You know it's about to go down. Give me a second while I get these wheels a-rolling and I'll give you the good report. So this has been Hindsight's 2020, a couple of weeks in the making, maybe, I mean, maybe even longer, but recognizably a couple of weeks in the making. So we were given an opportunity to impeach the devil and put God back as king and ruler, rightful God over everything. No more little G nonsense. And so it has been a living nightmare in the best way possible because of that, that victory over the kingdom of darkness. No good deed goes unattacked. So, but with that great victory and, and attack comes an even greater reward. And the obedience is where God can really, really shine in and through us. Okay. So, that right there was the biggest news in his story. And because of that, many, many things have been unlocked and are now available. So I have some good news and some news I need you to be aware of. So another part of this the double anointing which gave us the firepower to make such a stand we were able to be of service we'll say like I said let me let me let me let me ramp up here a little bit it's like <laughs> so Unbeknownst to me, God gave a vision to someone that has been in prophet training for a long time, many, many years. And he gave them a vision and then they came to me and asked if I could look into it. And I was able to get to, to go by the designated method, the underwater method that God has given us to confirm and clarify those, those secrets and revelations. And we were able to clarify. So he did the training that was given and we did the training that God gave us directly. He saw something that we were unaware of at the time and then he made us aware and then we were able to see it and confirm it. And so when I was there doing that service, God himself anointed and told me to confirm Esteban as a new prophet. And I, that was part, I believe, after all these epiphanies, see, I, I have double checked and triple checked and quadruple checked i just got out of the underwater meditation to confirm and everything this huge great news of what i'm about to bombshell you with so with that adversity to that victory to that blessing to that double anointing to the double revelation The good news is as follows. Because 
the t- the the time and and truly tested direct way God showed me how he wants to interact someone else took it did it saw it we confirmed it two or more are gathered together and I'm there and, and it is established so so that was part and parcel of all of where this is going so Today I was at work and I was caught up in the spirit and God had come to me and gave me this opportunity, this position. And he said he was opening up the position of, here it is, and I don't say this lightly, He has reopened the position of apostle. And I know it's slightly different. We're going to go over there over that just real quickly on what exactly that is and means and does. Um, and the things that have led up to that, which we had went over a little bit. There was moments in these last couple days where... God has been moving mightily in me. And he did this thing where he removed these thorns of the flesh. And, and he did this thing where he healed me and, and washed my feet. And it was the same things that I was not aware of. But when I went to him and was confirming what he had given me earlier, he went into a greater depth. And he said, like Peter who was an apostle, he was in a direct disciple of the Lord Jesus Christ, which is what made him an apostle, yeah, an impossible really, an apostle, which is the next notch up from prophet. And then it went to and he he was saying, you know, Lord, don't don't wash my feet, don't do, don't touch me and stuff. I'm that's nasty, but Christ said, hey, if I don't do this, you know, then you can't walk with me. And he said, then wash all of me. And so I had that epiphany with the same thing. And, and then, you know, removing those thorns of the flesh because I am slightly different than Paul, whereas he had blood on his hands and I do not. I am purer in works than Paul. I know that's bold to say. I don't say that lightly, but he was an apostle because he met the resurrected Lord and Savior Jesus Christ on that road of Damascus. And that, my friends and family, is exactly what has been reestablished today. I am... Through the, the direct method that God gave me, I am in direct discipleship of the resurrected Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. And he told me to tell you this, and I am, and I am swearing by it on my soul and my life. I promise you. I promise you. And so what that means to the people is that that position is now reopened. And now that there is an established method that has been tested and is true and now is confirmation it has now been officially open to the public. And I'm, I'm just that, that next leading edge. I'm the one that's, that's breaking that four-minute mile, and then people were struggling, and now they're, everybody can break that four-minute mile type of that, that, that paradigm shift. So I'm opening up the authority and permission, and the next 
from glory to glory to glory on our way to our glorified bodies and perfection and to ultimate service to God. And so I, I, when I got that vision today, called up into the Spirit, I went as I got home, and God also showed me this was also not like only Peter and Paul, but it was like Abraham. And I went to my Sarah, my Amber, and I told her that I have news, good news and bad news. This could be detrimental. You know, God has given us a... a a chosen promise. And now there is a possibility where we have to sacrifice our Isaac. And so I'm, I'm asking with this revelation for your prayer because I know it's a test, but I also know that it's very, very dangerous and that this new territory is going to take all new everything. Because God came to me and was double-checking my heart. And he said, you can have this, but you have to start all over again. And you know, I told him, I said, you know what? I didn't do very good the first go-round. I, I complained and I did not suffer righteously. And I'm all in. I don't care. He says, what if something happens to your soulmate? I said, I trust you. What happens if something happens to your daughters? I trust you. Or your cars or your jobs or your possessions. I, I, I trust you more. You're the one who gave me all that stuff in the first place. All in. Unabashed. Unashamed. And I've suffered enough and I've died enough to where I can firmly and have provenly stated and have been tested to where I can say this. I've been to the pits and to the bottoms of every hell. And, and I want you to know, something could happen to me. It, it may not be a test. It could, you know, and, and it is, but it could be, it, it, I don't know the extent of it. But I want you to be on guard and aware. And I want you to be praying for us, especially my family. This is coming to a gr potential great detriment to them. And so, I went to confirm all of this. I went to Christ and confirmed it. I went to God the Father and confirmed it. I went to my wife and I let her know what was going on, just like Abraham did to Sarah. And I told her what was happening and she's all in. Full support. Fine. Whatever happens, it, whatever happens, happens. If we perish, we perish. And I went to who I am subservient to, her father, who we are serving who is the head of the household, and I, I let him know. And I asked him, and I let the people, uh, some of the people with uh, who I work with, know. So is family, friends, public, global. We went through some massive frontline victories and battles and God is merciful and gracious, and He has opened up new unlockables and rewards. The and and let me finish up real quick with this. Um, with so you know what the apostle actually is. What does being an apostle mean? And what is the role of an apostle? And it is uh, one who is sent on a mission a commissioned representative of a congregation, a messenger of, for God, a person who has the special task of founding and establishing churches, which I've been doing that for years and years and years. And let's see. And so how an apostle is chosen is by Jesus Christ direct call let's see what else it um so an apostle in its literal sense is an emissary from one who is sent off and my main message from day one that god has given me is prophet 
was prepare my people for paradise. And so the last one was John the Revelator and has been gone for years, fat, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of years. And so the great news is it is now back because God has established it his personal way through the firm foundation in his word, no addition or subtraction, gave me the way to reconnect so that this could be reestablished. And so I just want you to be aware and blessed by this, this great message from God. And uh, let's see. The, the apostolic office were those who had seen the risen Christ and were appointed by him to proclaim and to inscribe divinely approved testimony regarding the facts and meaning of his finished work. And if any of you guys know me at all, I don't think that you could disagree and that you would be unable to see the, the fruits of the Spirit in these works. I'm not doing these. I am being led and directed by our Heavenly Father Himself. So we have a new prophet, new blessings, new revelations, new anointings, new positions, new unlockables. And I just... I testify to you, I promise, I swear to it. And I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So thank you. I believe that is all that I needed to, to, to get out at this moment. So keep moving from glory to glory because God is inexhaustible. So that is the double, triple, quadruple confirmed brand newest, goodest news revelation straight off the press of heaven. And I accept and I receive this gift and this position and this promotion, this anointing by the will, by the Holy Spirit. I accept it and I say yes in the name of Jesus Christ, by His authority that he has directed and led me to. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. I'm looking forward to exploring this new revelation. Much loves. Many blessings. And long must day. And do the world a favor. Share this good news to the lost and dying and the hopeless and the helpless. God is moving in these final hours. This is a positive sign. Even if there is things that could happen. This is God's blessing over the obedient. And he said he was going to move mightily in these final hours and in these lands. And that he was going to because of the seasons and the testings that I've been in, he is going to start doing mighty works in, in me and around me. And this is him being faithful to his promises.